like and subscribe. I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. Let me tell, right, let me tell you, <laughs> we don't care. One eternity later. Hello everyone, and today I'm going to be showing you how to build a TC and a loot room. And also, if you see this on top of the screen, it means someone has something not nice to say. So as you can see here, um, this is a small but surely effective loot room. As you can see, it can hold two barbecues, some small boxes, a lot of large boxes. It's very useful for its size, and I'm going to show you how to build it. So it's very accessible. You can climb in there and get everything you need out of these boxes. As you can see, I'm opening and closing them all without a problem. So you can reach it from there, and you can also climb in. There's a little step right there, and I'm going to show you how to build it. So let's get to it. So first thing you need to do is, of course, place your foundation. Now you should always connect this to like the other part of your base, obviously. Add a triangle to the side. Make sure it isn't armor. Make sure it's wood or twig because, you know, obviously I'm on a build server, so this doesn't really matter. Place a triangle, a half wall, and a triangle on top, and I messed it up. <coughs> yeah, so yeah, I messed it up. Uh, <laughs> so yeah. As you can see, I'm throwing C4 at this wall. <laughs> to try to get rid of it. <laughs> Why didn't they cut this out? I'm an idiot. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, back to back to the. I, I, uh, uh, let, let me uh, go off already so I can continue. Come on. There we go, okay, back to the tutorial. Okay, so first thing you need to do is after you place that little um, that little path, you gotta make sure you have a roof obviously or else they can just peek in there. You need a triangle, connect it there, and then once you have that, uh, you turn off no clip. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I for it didn't work that time. So now it's time to place the boxes. Now I'm not really good at aligning boxes myself. I'm actually pretty garbage. So this was this is really good if you want to fit a lot of stuff in your new. Just try and get it like right to the edge, right before it falls off, like that. See? And then place a barbecue in your corner, and place a small box underneath the barbecue. Then you place a small box right in that small ledge. And then what you do is you make sure it's rotated. Your large box is rotated. Put it right up against the wall. You need to try and do this pretty precise, as you see I messed it up this time. So, I had to move the boxes to the side a little bit more. There we go, right there. And then, uh, it still didn't fit. <laughs> so I picked up the other one, and I fixed that one too. But, if, but fortunately, make sure you get those all the way in the back too, for maximum comfort. Okay, once you get those in the back, make sure it's facing this way. And then place that one all the way in the back, and then one right in front of it, facing the still way. See? And then you got the, the two access boxes. Now what you can do now is place your barbecue. Make sure you do this bef after the, you place your garage door. It will be completely hidden, and they won't be able to loot it, by the way. But just make sure you place your garage door. Some guy was flying over in a minicopter for some reason. <laughs> I guess he was just seeing what I was doing. So place your garage door. I, I don't know what I was... Uh, by the way, this code, I, I don't know why. I don't even know why I put in a code. I just thought of it. It's not even ours. <laughs> so, I just put in a code. It just made me feel more homely. Yeah, so you just put in your barbecue. Right in the corner. And then uh, you place a box underneath it. I placed it the wrong way for some reason, but it doesn't really matter. You close it up, and it should perfectly fit in there. And there you go, guys. That's how you do your very own loot room that has a ton of storage and a ton of accessibility. I definitely recommend this. While also doing my bunker base design, it would have it would have a lot of uh, storage capabilities. I didn't put a triangle in mind this wipe, so I, I screwed myself over. All right, down to the next one. This here is a TC. TC loot rooms are pretty small sometimes, but this one's able to fit a ton of boxes, two barbecues, two large boxes, and at least three small boxes. But for some reason, I built my my room, my TC room in my building one, where I actually built it, I built it wrong for some reason, so yeah, but it actually had a lot more storage, so just follow my instructions for the next one. But yeah, this one has a lot of capability, 
and is able to easily hold a ton of stuff in there. All your sulfur, all your guns, all your gear sets, everything. And you easily have access to the TC with the small box you can climb on top of. So this is how you build it. First, of course, you need um, a foundation, like any build. You know, like, like any build. Yeah, so you place a foundation. You do the same thing that we did last time with the triangle tactic. Placing your small ramp. I almost placed that, <laughs> a normal one. You need your walls. Don't wall yourself in this time like an idiot. Um, come on, Jordan. You can't, you can, you cannot be an idiot. Come on, bro. You can, yes, let's go. You're so good at the game. Okay, uh, go ahead and place a, um, <laughs> uh, what am I doing? I, I forgot what it is. Oh, I was crafting a TC. Yeah, that's right. I wasn't prepared on camera. You can all laugh now. Um, yeah, place the TC. Make sure you have it perfectly aligned with the right side of the wall. It took me a bit. <laughs> Come on. Okay, now that it's perfectly fr flush against the wall, it is time to start constructing. Now make sure you place your triangle after you place your TC or what am I doing? What am I doing? Okay, wooden storage box. <laughs> okay, so next thing you need to do is place your triangle, of course. Now, it should fit like that perfectly. Now what you need to do is place your large box in the back of the TC. Right to the side of it. You don't need to do that weird little X pattern because that always makes me mad because I can never do it. Okay, yeah, remember I did it a little bit worse. I mean, I did it a little bit later. Lat yeah, place that small box there. Uh, place your uh, barbecue at the edge, just like the loot room, except there's no two barbecues in here. Place your box parallel to the back of the wall and you can't place one there, I tried to. And then you place one right next to the other small box, which gives you an even bigger step and a lot bigger of an advantage to jump up onto the TC. So just follow this one and ignore the first one I did, I guess. So place uh, your box, um, this time facing the other way due to the fact that the TC's there and it can't support it. Go on, Jordan. You put it flush against the wall as usual. Congratulations. Now, place a small box on the edge right here. Now, this is supposed to help, you know, with uh, people shotgun raiding your TC. It should cover up the bullets for a little bit. For a little bit. Not too, for too long, though. Now, you uh, add your garage door first, as usual, to make sure you can fit your barbecue in there. Now, of course, you never actually use this barbecue for cooking things use it for storing things but I mean if you do want to cook up some grub in your TC room go ahead and the thing is is that you can hide in there too with the small boxes I don't know I, I I think I forgot I think I remembered at this point that this was the wrong way to do it but forget it mate <laughs> what was I doing because you couldn't access TC like that so just do the thing I was doing okay the one I was doing right before I, I screwed it up okay now you place those two boxes you're able to easily access TC. And you're able to easily access everything else. And everything's nice and safe and very nice. Yes, congratulations, you've built yourself a pretty successful TC room. As you can see, it's pretty sturdy. It's got a lot of boxes. You can store a ton of stuff in there. All right. Um... Hey, do you guys want to see a magic trick for the end of the video? Here's how you do it. You throw a ton of smoke grenades at the build I just built, take out a 30 C4, and try for like four minutes to try and take out this TC and pretend that it just disappeared instead of using C4. Uh, that didn't really work. You guys will see why. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just throwing C4. I'm just hoping that this magic trick works. At this point, I'm just... I'm thinking it's gone by now because I've thrown more than 8C4. And I'm keep throwing smokes to make sure you guys can't see it. I just saw a little bit of concrete fly over, so I think I just destroyed it. I thought I just destroyed it. And I keep throwing it. Over and over and over again. And I, I'm just going to let you guys uh, silently watch me uh, be an idiot for the rest of the video. So yeah, I'm going to stop talking.
talking. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and uh, you can tell how uh, <laughs> pretty dumb this magic trick was.